He brought swagger, bravado, and brawn to the baseball field. By most statistical measurements, he's one of the generation's greatest players because of his rare combination of elite hitting, slick base running, and an excellent fielder. Although he is Japanese, in Seattle, he's considered a folk hero, if not a rock star. Yes, Ichiro Suzuki has enjoyed a brilliant baseball career. In this video, we will look at his career, personality, lifestyle, and net worth. Number 10. Career Ichiro grew up in Toyoyama, a small town outside Nagoya in Japan. Suzuki's father drilled him to become the best baseball player there is, so much so that by the time he made it into high school, he told Ichiro's coach, no matter how good he is, don't ever praise him. Ironically, Ichiro was primarily used as a pitcher due to his strong arm, but later proved that he was a great hitter and outfielder. However, due to his size, he was undervalued and emerged from the MVP draft as a fourth round pick by the Oryx Blue Wave. Despite the bumpy road, Ichiro had star qualities, and in 1994, he became the first player to top 200 hits in a single season. It was the start of Ichiro winning a record 7 consecutive batting titles and 3 straight Pacific League MVP awards. In 2001, Suzuki became the first Japanese-born position player to be posted and signed to an MLB club. Ichiro starred for the Seattle Mariners by leading the American League in batting average and stolen bases en route to being named AL Rookie of the Year and AL MVP. Ichiro's illustrious career continued with him playing for the Yankees, Marlins, and then back with the Mariners. He's a 10-time MLB All-Star and won the 2007 All-Star Game MVP award for a three-hit performance that included the event's first ever inside the park home run. Comes Ichiro, inside the park home run. Suzuki won a Rawlings Gold Glove Award in each of his first 10 years in the majors. Ichiro finished his career with 4,367 hits between Japan and the United States, the most of any play in history at the top level of baseball. Yes, the man was a legend. Number 9. Endorsements The first endorsement deal that Ichiro signed as a major leaguer was in 2001 when he entered an exclusive contract with the baseball card company Upper Deck. The deal was reported to be north of 7 figures and was an opportunity for Ichiro to expand his American fan base. The deal entailed Ichiro providing both autographs and other baseball related memorabilia. In Japan, Ichiro had several company endorsements including a popular energy called Yunker, Nintendo, Nissan, Oakley, Nippon Oil, and Nippon Telegraph, and Telephone. Ichiro has also done ads for Pepsi. Japanese beer Kirin, and Seattle's KOMO AM1000, which was the flagship station for the Mariners, and had a monster Ichiro image on his window. Yes, this man did a lot of ads and promoted a ton of companies, but was always selective of who he worked with. A wise man indeed. Number 8. Salary and Net Worth According to Spotrack.com, Ichiro's initial deal to sign with the Mariners was a three-year, $14.08 million contract in November 2000. After his immediate success in North America, he signed a modest four-year, $44 million contract in December 2003. Then, in July 2007, he signed a massive five-year, $90 million contract with the franchise. After being traded to the Yankees, he later signed a two-year, $13 million year in December 2012, and later earned $7.2 million in three seasons with the Marlins. In total, the man earned almost $100 $169 million from his big league career. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, Ichiro has a net worth of $180 million. The man is level-headed on and off the diamond. Number 7. Ken Griffey Jr. was his hero. Ken Griffey Jr. was a legendary player from the Seattle Mariners, and Ichiro followed the kid into superstar status in the Pacific Northwest. It turns out that Ichiro viewed Jr. as his hero. In 2013, when Ken Griffey Jr. was inducted to the team's Hall of Fame, Ichiro said Griffey was his childhood hero and flipped his cap backward in signature Griffey fashion. My, oh my! <laughs> Congratulations to my hero on a great honor. A former teammate stated, Ken Griffey Jr. and Ichiro taking batting practice together, it was unbelievable. It was like watching a video game. It was just majestic home run after home run. Another teammate, Sean Kelly, claims Ichiro loved Griffey, like loved Griffey. They would be full on wrestling around in the locker room on the couches before games, and Ichiro would just be giggling. Yes, the two were multiracial brothers. Number 6. Fast Food Lover The Mariners anticipated that Ichiro would have wanted Japanese food when he moved stateside, but the chef was in for a rude awakening on opening day. His first request was, do you have a cheeseburger? Yes, Ichiro loved his burger so much he would eat a burger once per day visiting spots like Five Guys and In-N-Out. He also ate what became known later as Ichi's Wings. The wings included squeezed lime, garlic, green onions, teriyaki sauce, and some sweet chili sauce. He also enjoyed the cheap Costco corn dogs that could not be microwaved. They had to be baked in the oven so they would get crispy. Yes, the man loved his American junk food. Number 5 Creature of habit. Ichiro was definitely a creature of habit. Remember those famous Ichi's wings? The man literally ate those every home game for 10 years. Except on a day game, he would change it up and have a corn dog. 
During the game, he would only eat plum balls made by his wife. Yes, plum balls. Ichiro also knew where every single California pizza kitchen was in every city, and whether it was 5 minutes or 45 minutes away, he would have lunch at California Pizza Kitchen. He ate double cheese, extra sauce, and lightly cooked. Every time. The great ones have their habits, right? Number 4. Rap Music and Spanish Trash Talk One of the first records Ichiro ever bought was by Snoop Dogg, and in his home, he had a life-size picture of the West Coast rapper. Who knew Ichiro was a gangsta? Man, that's dope. Ichiro was also a legendary trash talker, so much so that he learned Spanish to talk trash to his opponents. According to Brad Lefton of the Wall Street Journal, Ichiro once asked veteran first baseman Carlos Pena, what the hell are you looking at in Spanish after reaching first base on an infield hit. Ichiro also once responded with something not fit to print when Miguel Cabrera called him a feo or ugly when he was on the base pass. Yes, Ichiro talked trash and backed it up on the field. That's how the great ones do it. Number 3. Donations Ichiro has a big heart for his homeland of Japan and the game of baseball. In March 2011, Ichiro donated 100 million yen, which equals 1.24 million, to the Japanese Red Cross for earthquake relief efforts in his native country. The gesture moved the Mariners to dedicate the first six home games of the upcoming season to raising money for victims of the earthquake and tsunami that devastated Japan. Ichiro befriended Negro League's legend Buck O'Neill and deeply admired and loved Buck simply from being around him and sensing his greatness. Sadly, O'Neill passed away and Ichiro stepped up by personally donating to the Negro League's baseball museum in his memory. Although it is unknown, it is considered the largest check any player had ever written to the museum. Small in stature, but big with a heart. Number 2. Wife in Mansion Ichiro has been married to Yumiko Fukushima for nearly 23 years since getting married in December 1999. The couple got married in Santa Monica, California and chose to tie the knot in the United States instead of Japan to keep the ceremony more private. Yumiko Fukushima and Ichiro Suzuki likely met through baseball. She worked as a sports reporter for the Tokyo Broadcasting System. Fukushima gave up her job to follow her husband to the United States when he signed with the Seattle Mariners. Fukushima was previously engaged to another baseball player before meeting Suzuki. Yumiko Fukushima would have been a major her asset to her husband when they moved to the United States for a practical reason. She was already fluent in English. She even tried to convince Ichiro to grow a beard so he would look more like Brad Pitt. Imagine that. In 2017, Suzuki sold a one-bedroom condo in LA for $2.4 million and made a profit of $100,000. It had a 1,000-square-foot private rooftop patio that tops the residence and takes the city to ocean view. The couple has owned properties in Washington State, Miami Beach, and Greenwich, Connecticut. Number 1. What is he doing now? After retiring in March 2019, the Mariners announced that Ichiro would work as an instructor for the team. Ichiro will maintain his title of special assistant to the chairman, but will report to Depoto. In his new role, he will work as an instructor with the major league and AAA clubs with a focus on outfield play, base running, and in conjunction with the hitting coaches, batting. In December 2021, Ichiro made a surprise appearance as a pitcher at a high school in Japan. He struck out 17 batters and made 147 pitches and topped out at 84 miles per hour. On August 28, 2022, Ichiro Suzuki became the 10th player inducted to the club's Hall of Fame on Saturday. The one-of-a-kind outfielder received rapturous applause at T-Mobile Park and gave a 15-minute speech in English. What a storybook life and career. So what do you think about Ichiro's lifestyle and career? Are you surprised by his love of junk food, trash talk, and even rap music? Let me know in the comments section. Smash that like button and subscribe for more premium sports-related content. Until next time.